podcast. And of course, this is Smackdown Live at the show, baby. And we're actually on a, the right schedule this week. So how you doing? Hope you guys are having a great Saturday. I know I am. I'm just waiting for more sun to come out and things to warm up, though. And I'll be happy, you know what I mean? Um, so this is another thing to WWE shows. And don't forget to check out all the stuff down below in the below because hopefully by the time this video goes up, there will be a new podcast. I know I was supposed to do it Friday, but things happen and I don't know, I wasn't feeling very good um, yesterday and like I canceled like everything that I was supposed to do, like um, recording schedules, everything that I had scheduled yesterday, <laughs> I um, canceled it. So today, I'm feeling okay, I'm feeling a lot better, that's okay, so maybe I can actually speak because I tried to record the podcast yesterday and my voice was just very crackly. So today, I sound a lot better, so this is just a test run of my voice today. So anyways, um, if you haven't already, go to smash that subscribe button down below and over here as well. Check out the latest video wheel, which is Raw of the Show, and of course, check out the eye right there. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And also, stay tuned for WrestleMania because your girl will be at WrestleMania Access and there will be a lot of content coming your way. So stay tuned for that. Very excited, very nervous also. So go check out all the stuff soon. So stay tuned. At and uh, a lot of people are wondering if I'm going to be covering WrestleMania because of my schedule. Um, I will be covering it as usual, so stay tuned for that vlog as always. It might be, you know, covering it the last minute of it, probably on the flight, but I will be watching it. Okay, anyways, that's you know on. This is my download about the show. Let's get on to it. Who's ready for WrestleMania, though? I know I am. I'm very pumped. Comment down below what you're looking forward to at WrestleMania and your favorite moment my down. I love this you on. Smile Down always over the minutes coming out. Um, he looks uh, less happy than usual, but he still poses for the crowd on the stage. Um, Miz plays a video showing uh, what Shane did at Fastlane and said on SmackDown um, the following week. Um, okay. The A Lister says he had always been focused on the road to WrestleMania and it has cost him. Um, he missed that he has used everyone he has ever known to get ahead because this business means the world to him. And so did his friendship with Shane. Um, Miz says people tried to warn him about Shane, um, but he didn't listen. Um, he does a good job telling his emotion as he's falling, as he talks about how it felt for his dad to have to watch his son get beat up. <laughs> Sorry. Alright. He says the McMahons don't own him or Kofi. He talks about having to earn the respect of everyone for the past 13 years in a crowd chants his name. Um, Shane, um, I just realized that. Okay, I meant to say, The Miz ends his promo by promising to meet Shane at WrestleMania after he leaves uh, Sasha Banks in. Um, Bailey heads to the ring to address the iconics. I don't know how I did that. Well, like, I missed a bit of the start of the show because I accidentally forgot that it was time for SmackDown and um, missed a few minutes of it. So I had to restart it and um, I guess when I was rewriting it, it kind of probably got messed up, but I'll fix it. Um, anyways, um, Bailey Kay and Peyton Royce come out to mock Bailey and Banks. They even make a joke about the college admissions scandal going on. The boss and the hugger don't look impressed. The Iconics versus boss and hug connection, the Iconics won. Kevin Owens is back to host his new improved Kevin Owens show. Um, he says his usual co KO mania, but this year is all about Kofi Kingston and Becky Lynch. He brings out the men as his first guest. I once also brings up Charlie to talk about how friendships can soar in the business and he makes some jokes about um, before suggesting Becky and Charlotte have a match tonight. Things get heated and Becky slaps Charlotte. The queen taxes her down um, over the table as they brawl around the ring. Daniel Bryan is in the ring to talk about Kofi Kingston's upcoming gauntlet match and he calls it an injustice because Kofi does not deserve the chance to fight for the title which I disagree. Okay. He's been in this business for what, 11 years? So, okay, okay. This is really easy to do. Okay. Alright, Kofi Kingston, Scotland match. Um, Kofi Kingston did win and is going to WrestleMania the face of Brian for the WWE Championship. Um, Woods and Biggie um, runs through to congratulate their, uh, their teammate. Um, but, don't get too sad too fast. See, I knew this was going to happen when I heard his music. I'm just like, oh god, here we go again. <laughs> okay, anyway, let's move on. 
Um, Vince comes out and says Kofi uh, was the one, uh, has one last opponent to go through before he earns his spot at WrestleMania. His last opponent is Daniel Bryan. The bell rings and immediately starts leaning into Kelsey Kingston with kicks to the body. Um, we're going to roll, try to roll this a little faster. Um, eventually, you know, Daniel Bryan did get the win, so that means Kofi Kingston didn't get his opportunity for WrestleMania. Which is kind of disappointing. I'm thinking that they're doing like they do with the women's title. Like they did a crappy start to the feud. Now they're all into the triple threat now. So I feel like that they're just like trying to build it up more. And build up Kofi Kingston. Even though he doesn't really need it. But I just feel like that's what they're going to do. And then there goes the match right at WrestleMania. And maybe not. Probably to be the best. To probably win my disqualification or something. You know. I'll just how it would be. It's okay. Alright. So it's with uh, Woods and Biggie running down to check on their friend. And Brian calling Kofi a big... B plus player. Plus, it's like a Daniel Bryan story. Like, you remember the B player? You know? Okay. Anyways. Rating 60 out of 60. Um, but anyways, I did say that I guess the whole opportunity was literally feeling nothing. I just was feel like, like the storylines lost my interest because like it's been being dragged on and dragged on and dragged on. Like, either give it to him or not. That's how I feel. You know what I mean? Alright, um, so anyways, um, rating 60 out of 60, I would rate it more, but I'm disappointed in this storyline, our build up, if you will, because it just looks dumb, when you know they'll probably do it this match at Mini in the end. It has some decent matches leading to Mini, though, that's what I said. So anyways, that's what I have you guys say for Smackdown Live out there, don't forget to smash that subscribe button down below. Also, check it over here as well, you know, you can hit it over there. Check the latest video right here, and of course, shout out to Ivo, all this up there, because there should be a new video up on Super Hacko 91, new well, a gameplay. So go check that out because of the John Cena versus Kurt Angle. So go give it up some love. And uh, comment down below what you're looking for to WrestleMania. And uh, what are you hoping to see at WrestleMania also? And what's your favorite fandom was? And anyways, I'm hoping we get Kofi Kingston Mania. And hopefully we get Kurt Angle versus John Cena. I'm just saying. I think it's going to happen. But anyways, I'll see you guys soon on the flip side. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye!